Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, we made sure Emerian's final sacrifice was not in vain. We escaped with all of our troops and the Fire Emblem. In this episode, it's time to start our counterattack towards dethroning the Mad King Grangle. Before we do that, however, we need to take a bit of a detour. There was a paralogue that opened up to us last episode, but I just didn't think it was a very appropriate time to uh, show that off. So we're going to be doing that today. This is paralogue four, the twins hideout. This one is very much worth your time. So let's go ahead and get it started. No, that poor girl. Listen. What's wrong? Hail, traveler. Sirs, please help her. A young merchant girl is being set upon by bandits. We're on our way. Sounds a bit familiar. And hello! We got a lot of sinking support systems now. Okay. Okay, it's not as much as you think because every one of them counts as another one. So we got like one, two, three, four, maybe. Okay. Don't want to do all of them right now, but we do have some that we could show off. Let's start with Robin and Sumia. We got Robin, Sumia, Lissa, and Frederick. Oh, we can max them out right here if we want to. Huh. We got uh, Payne and Libra. Noe and Tharja. So, what do I want to do? Who do I want to show off this episode is the question. As tempting as Lissa and Frederick seems right now, I'm actually going to hold off on that one for now. How about we do Robin and Sumia? Hey. That's a lot of books you've got there, Sumia. Are you going to read all of them? Hello. Oh, hello, Robin. Yes, this is a lot of books, isn't it? Someone threw them out in a wagon, so I figured I'd give them a good home. Wow. What a good idea. I always find it relaxing to do a little light reading in the evening. Well. Oh, you could borrow some if you want. I certainly can't read them all at once. Huh? You don't mind? Yes. Of course not. Here, which one looks good? Well, I'm not sure. What do you recommend? Well, Let's see. Ooh, this one looks like a real page turner. Shanty Pete and the Haunted Pirates. Sorry. Uh, thank you, but I don't like to read scary stories before bed. Oh. Of course. Well, what about A Simpleton's Guide to Pegasus Care? I'm not really that into animal nonfiction. <sighs> well, maybe the third time's the charm. Let's see now. Oh, this looks great. Wyvern Wars, Terror at High Noon. Hmm. Do you perhaps have anything a bit more literary? <clears throat> oh, Pegasus Poop, I'm useless at this. Useless, useless, useless. Just pick her out a book, Sumia. It's so easy, Sumia. But no, I'm too darn useless. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness, please don't cry. I didn't mean to imply... Actually, did you say Wyvern Wars? I've always wanted to read that one. I mean, it has terror at high noon and everything, right? You, uh, can't beat that. <laughs> really? You want that one? Oh, I'm so happy. I hope you like it. <sighs> Pretty sure I have to at this point. Well, that was a bit of a pick-me-up that we very much needed right now. Uh, we'll be checking out the other ones in due time, but for now, I would like to... I guess I could still... Because it is smart to just get them out of the way so we have the stat boost, but I'll be showing them off... For, I'll, be, I'll record them right now, but then they'll get shown off uh, throughout other videos. How about that? Hopefully it won't be too confusing. I'll next do Pain and Libra. <clears throat> Might I beg a moment of your time? Question. You get one moment. State your business, priest. Um, I wanted to thank you. <gasps> you owe me nothing. Yes. But I do. You saved Lady Emerian from assassination. As an Elysian citizen and a man of the cloth, I owe you my gratitude. Stop. I saved no one. Emerian lived only long enough to fall into the next snare. Good heavens. You were there then, when she... I fear we both witnessed it. Oh, really? I see that what happened to her pains you even now. I too still grieve. I cannot help but feel that I failed her somehow. Hmm. What then? 
You would have the two of us sit around licking each other's wounds? No. I merely thought to. You. You are human. I am a Tagwo. Linger near me and you'll be viewed with suspicion by your kind. Yes. You've worried for my reputation? That's very gallant. I smell your fear. Watch your words, man spawn, lest you get yourself hurt. Beg pardon. Pain is not the trusting kind, though she did seem indebted to Emerine. Perhaps she'll be able to open up in due time. Up next we got Noe and Tharja. So hey. Is that you, Tharja? What are you doing? <sighs> Strange. I cannot read through the shell that cloaks your mind. <laughs> Dragons don't have shells, silly. They have scales and talons and stuff. Speaking of talents, I need some of your nail clippings. Just a sliver or two from the ends will surface. Huh? What for? <laughs> Minichetti talents are used in dark mage divinations. I want to see what future holds between me and Robin. Whoa. Oh my gosh, you could tell fortunes? That's amazing! Okay, wait. Here's a bag of all my toenail clippings. Yes, I saved them. Don't ask why. Long story, slightly gross. But, if you take these, I get to ask you th for your first fortune. Deal? <laughs> I suppose you want me to find your uh, one true love, yes? Nope. I don't you dare poke around in my love life. No, I want you to find out about my mom and dad. Like, where are they? And if they're safe and all that, can you do it? Interesting. Yes, give me your clippings and I shall begin the preparations. That was a bit of a... Sweet and slightly gross conversation. And finally, we could pair up Frederick and Lissa if that is what we would like to do. And by we, I mean I because this is my playthrough. It's time for Lissa and Frederick to be bonded for life. Hey, hey Frederick, I. Huh? <laughs> what is that you just frantically put away? Are you hiding something from me? Frederick? <laughs> no. Me? I... No, of course not, my lady. Not I. No, how may I help you? Hey. By showing me what you're hiding. Honestly, you're a terrible liar. It's that ring you secretly picked up last time we were goofing off in town, huh? <clears throat> not so secretly, I see. <laughs> Did you really think you could keep secrets from me after all these years? <sighs> and I suppose you know my intention in buying it. And that it's meant for you. Huh? Well, I was pretty sure, but it's never certain till it's certain, you know. Right. Then I suppose it was a waste of time drafting 12 different ways of telling you. You always did know me so well. <laughs> it seems like I trained you well, too. I'm so proud of you for wasting so much time. And of course I know you well, Frederick. How could I not? You were my first crush. What? Milady, I... I did not know. I know you didn't, even though I made it so obvious so many times. Honestly, you can be so hopelessly dense sometimes. But I guess it worked out in the end because it got my dream. <laughs> Explain. And what dream was that? Right. To marry my first love, obviously. It's kind of every girl's dream. <laughs> I'm afraid I wouldn't know. Hey. But you must have a dream of your own, right? What's your dream, Frederick? Well, to serve you, to protect you, and to make you happy for as long as we both shall live. Oh. Ha! <laughs> well, alright. I think I could let you do that. Twist my arm. <laughs> Thank you, my lady. Right. You're going to have to start calling me Lissa, though. Ah. L very well, Lissa. Thank you. Listen, Frederick, attain support level S. Now that we got all those out of the way, let's select our units. Oh, we got such a limited party now. We are going to have to start saying goodbye to some people. I definitely want Tharja with us. Even though we have a, a Thunder Mage with Robin, I very much enjoy Tharja's character, and I like uh, having Nosferatu, so who am I going to be saying goodbye to is the question. Rick and I don't really care about, so Tharja will take his place. I kind of wanted to use Gaius. Guys are Gregor. Hmm. 
Oh, there's just so many single characters. I know it'd be kind of overwhelming to use every single one in on the battlefield at all times, but like, I really wish you could just because they're all so likable. Uh, let's do it. Oh no, you know I want Libra. Not I want Cordelia too. Gregor with Gaius. Hopefully that's an okay decision. Uh, let's take care of. What's our map looking like? We're pretty spread out, so this would actually be a good one to match up with people. Make sure I have everyone where I want them to be. But knowing Tharja together, we'll put. Guys, Libra, I don't know. Uh, after that conversation with Pain and Libra, I guess I could pair them up because they'll be benefiting from each other's stat-wise, I guess. Uh, Krom is set in stone right here. Uh, I guess that'll work for now. Let's go. Right. You. Oh, this guy again. We have business, you and I, and I aim to settle the debt. Victor will be avenged today. Hmm. Oh dear, have we met? Hmm? Plain dumb won't serve you, girly. The gold you net from the slavers will build Victor the finest grave in the land. <laughs> Careful, love. Prices aren't the only thing I can cut in half. Ooh. So spicy. Okay, but yeah, we definitely recognize these two. Let's see if we can get over to her. I think we'll need to have to A, protect her, but B, we might need to have Krom talk to her so that we could uh, let her know that she's on our side and that we're on her side. Gonna pair Lissa up with Robin, just doing a bit of a different combination this time around. Even though Lissa and Frederick just met maximum status, it's good to get extra stats with other characters, so let's do it. Very, very good. Robin has... No 69! Robin has 69. What? No. Robin has no problem taking out enemies. Okay, I... Oh, man. Maybe I shouldn't have let her get to level 17. I forgot about that. That was something else I wanted to do. I wanted to give Robin our next Master Seal, but... Oh, I forgot about it, so... Does anyone have one on hand is the question. Pain does. Huh. If I could get Pain over to... Uh, Robin in time. I could do it mid-battle. I kind of like that you could uh, increase it mid-battle. Uh, I guess we'll go with Pain right now. Like, using her. The unfortunate thing with uh, Pain and Noe, one of the main reasons why I never use Master Seals is because if you upgrade Pain or Noe, they can't use their stones anymore. So they, they become, like, beast characters, but they can no longer show off their beast attributes, which I really don't like. So, I don't know. Maybe if I use the Master Seal, it'll just increase... It'll become like a Super Menekete or Super Togwell, so maybe it would work. I don't know off the top of my head, so I'll have to look up, look that up. Uh, let's see. I'm going to pair Noe up with Tharja. She's a bit further ahead, so I can just have her walk. Uh, and then... The thing is, because these guys have bows, so I want to keep Tharja out in front. Let's see what that's going to do for us. I think Noe's like super resistant to arrows, so maybe it would have been good to switch switch him around. I don't know. Krom is with no one. How about we'll pair him up with Cordelia just so we can get them moving? Though we just sort of like went forward to go backward, just kind of lame, but whatever. Gaius, go. Oh wow, Sumio was right singing here. I didn't even see it. God darn it. Uh, then Long Ku with Frederick. Oh no, I just, I wanted to pair Krom up with Frederick, but whatever. Long Ku with Frederick, very powerful duo. Probably not necessary, but whatever. I done goofed. What else is new? Uh, he's at level 6. Anka's level 10. So again, Frederick could use some levels. Go ahead and do that. Oh, uh, well, how many... Uh, how much more hits could uh, Frederick's weapon do? 18. Okay. Just gonna keep track of those sorts of things. Sumia could do some damage right now. And there you go. Level up. Oh, hey, I was actually using the weapon uh, strengths and weaknesses to my advantage for once. I actually well, I didn't think it through. I just noticed that I was like, oh, hey, that's a good combination. Uh, Cordelia, don't want you near any of those archers, so just head over here, I guess. And this girl, Anna, she is being attacked, of course, but something tells me we don't have to worry about her too much. 
So I apologize for like kind of messing everything up in the end, but like or in the last time we saw her, I was like hyping up the fact that she was a playable character and whatnot. I thought we were gonna get her in that last episode, but no, you have to clear that episode and then go to this one. It's kind of weird how it's set up like that, but it's even weirder that uh, this parallel gets unlocked as soon as Emeryine dies, so it was just very unfitting to do this one right away, but... Oh well, them's the breaks, I guess. We're uh, not too late with getting her, though. I definitely didn't want to hold off any longer, because Anna is a very cool character, and I want to get her on our side ASAP. Uh, let's see, I got this dude. Okay, just gotta get through all the things. I kind of wish you could just skip every single uh, thing to Mahuzi. Actually, can you? I think if you just press... Uh, when you're on the battlefield, if you press the start button a bunch of times, I think it'll skip either until the uh, the end of the enemy's turn or until somebody dies. Though, I don't know, it's kind of lame. I don't really want to do that too often. Uh, let's see, just keep on pressing the start button and... Yeah, you just go right to the ally phase. We don't really know where anyone is now. So it's sort of up to you whether or not you want to play like that. If you're a Let's Player, it's probably not recommended. But maybe it is. I don't know, maybe the episodes could be a bit shorter. Because I know the episodes have been kind of long, but whatever. Maybe you guys like it like that. Uh, Anna's right over there. Cordelia. Uh, no archers, so I can feel safe in running over here. It's all right. And so you get this guy taken down. It'd be kind of awkward if like, we don't even need to talk to her or like, we don't even have the option. That would be kind of lame, but whatever. I'm going to have Cord or Sumia take down this guy just so she can get out of here quickly. Or just like, she's one of the only people who could get out of here quickly, rather. Thank you for uh, guarding her, Gaia. She is kind of frail. She was looking a bit better. I was kind of worried in earlier episodes. But then again, there's a paralogue like, from a previous chapter, so the enemies are presumably going to be weaker than they would be if we came here right away. So I guess I shouldn't be celebrating too much. And the Tharsh is at such low HP, my god. Uh, let's attack her if we don't miss. We have a 90% chance, but you never know with Fire Emblem. Let's see what we got. Uh, thank you. Okay, cool. I think I can't even see your eyes when she's like in pain. She's just like, eh. So, fun fact about Tharja, she was originally going to be a trophy in Super Smash Bros. for 3DS and Wii U. Uh, not a assist trophy or a playable character or anything like that. She was just going to have a trophy in the game. It's the only one, like, as far as I'm aware, it's the only one that got removed from the game that we knew of beforehand because it was like a data dump and, like, they found a Tharja trophy within it. But it got removed from the game, presumably because her design makes the game more likely to get a teen rating and they were going for E10 with that one. So, that's kind of weird. I don't know why they were pushing for it. E10 rating, considering all the previous Smash Bros. games were rated T and everyone was fine with that, but I don't know. I guess uh, not. And it was also confusing because, like, we thought with the E10 rating, you couldn't have characters like Snake or Bayonetta. That's why we thought the Snake got removed because of the E10 rating, but then we got Bayonetta as a playable character. I'm like, what the fruit? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, but whatever. Uh, that's it for the. Okay, I guess everyone's just far away. Uh, we need a door key. Does anyone have a door key? Maybe we got one when I cut away, and I just don't even know. Maybe it's in this chest, but it's blocked off. God darn it. Does anyone have a door key? I have no idea. Uh, Krom, can you talk to Sumia? You can or Anna. Yes, you can. Yes, you can, huh? Mm -hmm. Hello there, handsome. Am I being rescued? Mm. Well, that was the plan, but you seem to be holding up just fine. Can you still fight? Mm -hmm. I could stand to open a few more rogues, sure. Or locks, for that matter. What? A thief, is it? Yes. Locksmith, thank you very much. Oh, yes, door or chest, I'll have it smiling wide in a trice. And it looks like these bandits have quite the horde built up. Really? Well then, I think we're in business. Anna has now joined our party. We can now control her, which is very, very cool. Uh, Anna is a thief or a trickster character. She's not your ordinary thief. Uh, unlike Gaius, who is just a regular thief, he could open in, uh, doors and chests without keys, though, so I'm glad that we picked him for this area. But Anna is a trickster. She could go ahead and open this for us. She's also a healer. She's a healer, a swordswoman, and a stinking locksmith. She basically could do it all. She is really stinking cool. I don't know more times I could say uh, good things about her, but whatever. She's really awesome, and she's not required to get through the game, but I wanted to make sure to get her, and she's actually going to be a mainstay on our team, unlike Donald, who we just, like, ditched in the uh, background as soon as we got him. Like, oh, I'm going to make Ma proud, and then we just, like, leave him for nothing. I don't know. I know Donald could be the greatest character in the game. He actually is the strongest character in the game if you upgrade him properly, but I don't care. I don't want him, so I just leave him behind. 
Uh, I may just get some extreme. I was six sharp to protect my comrades. Uh, we have an archer right here, so he's unfortunately gonna get hit. But whatever. Uh, Geist is over here, so we can't really do anything right now. Uh, I believe we take out the boss. And oh wow, we have a lot of stuff to go through before we even think about that. Let's just chillax for a second. Go right there. Go right there. In a corner like this, they won't be able to hurt us. Uh, Sumia. Go over here, I guess. And we're good. Uh, Frederick will hopefully be able to take this. Not too bad. Oh, or Lanku could just block all the damage, which is even better. Uh, we can't open this chest, unfortunately, so we're gonna move Robin over here. Anna is going to open this up for us, and we got... A Bullion L! Out of gold that we can sell for money later. We're gonna be buying some stuff in the f in the near future now that we got more and more shops op open up to us, so... It's very worth our time to do that. Now, for Gaius... I'm trying to think which door would be more beneficial. Probably this one, because there are more guys right here. I guess so... So we're gonna switch, have guys open this door, and Krom, head on in there, and do some damage. Do what you do best, kick butt. We'll get rid of that guy, no problem. Right. I remember another reason, this is just such a stupid thing, but like another reason why I was so against uh, upgrading any of my characters is because I didn't like changing their outfits, because their character portrait stays the same no matter what class you change them to, but their uh, in-game outfits, like on the battlefield, it changes, so. Oh, you didn't say pick a gun, probably. It changes, like, to something else to match their new class, so it was inconsistent. That was another reason why I didn't like changing my character's class. Oh, yeah, I forgot I wanted to upgrade Robin. God darn it, where even is she? Uh, Robin, where are you? She's right over here, super far away from any sort of extra thingy. God darn it. Let's just head over here for now. Uh, I guess I could keep you guys here just so, so you could go through that door. And we're going to get... Attacks a little bit, but nothing Frederick can't handle because he's the best. And he's just taking all the brute force for us. So we'll do that for us. And that. A challenge. A challenge. Mm. Uh, don't be so modest, Frederick. There ain't anything you can't handle. Uh, except maybe some magic, though. That's kind of bad. Oh, the boss can just move right here and now. You stand no chance. I'm a conqueror by the name and conqueror by nature. Now, question, do we... Oh, Frederick, no. Never thought I'd see the day where Frederick died. No, I cannot fight with such grievous wound. I'm sorry, but I must withdraw. That's kind of crummy. Well, at least it's not Lissa who's left uh, behind like this, because then she would go down right now, no questions about it. But Lanku will have no problem picking up the slack. But yeah, I was even saying, I was wondering, do if I beat the boss right now, was the chapter going to end? Because I don't want that to happen. I want to get all this stuff. So much treasure lying around. Look at all this stuff. We got two chests. We got three chests. Uh, Anna, you're just going to have to go over here. Unfortunately, we can't pair you up with any flyers right now. Maybe we can. How about we transfer Cordelia to her? And we'll wait it out. Longku, I want... Or Gaius, can you go back? Can't. Not entirely, anyway. Uh, but you'll be on your way, I guess. I'm gonna retreat for now. So what do I want to do? Because Anna gets up here, and then just make her way around, I guess. We'll have these guys uh, clear the way for him. And you guys, I'm just still waiting for the door to open up. What do we got? Oh, he's taking the chest! No! An arm scroll. Uh, does that become droppable, though, I wonder? Like, does it, is it literally in his inventory and he could drop it now? We have to check that. So we got Pain and Libra. Should have no problem taking this guy out. I am the Omega. Oh my god, Libra's Omega in disguise this whole time. No, not really. Not man or woman. A robot. Sure, why not? Oh wait, Vincent, god darn it, Vincent. Stay away from us, we don't want to fight you right now, his singing creepy voice. So let's see, the guy with the arm scroll. It is droppable. Raises the weapon level of all equipable weapons and staves. We want that. God darn it. What's the, what's the objective? How do I find that? Route the enemy. It's not defeat the boss, so the chapter won't 
and I'm um, banking on that. Hip banking. Uh, we'll switch to Anna's level. Where's the thing? God darn it. Level one trickster. Okay. Uh, so we need to get her some level ups. Uh, I love her little dance that she does. Okay. Uh, I'll take a risk here. And Thank God he's got a lot of HP. How about Libra? Mm, Pain's actually a bit more powerful. We'll try it. Booty up. And let's see what we can do. A lot of stat boosts right there. Oh! Way to go, Libra. This is a good combination right here. I see your face, Victor. No, no, wait, that's me. Oh. Very crummy, ensemble ensemble ripoff, even though I think this game came first. But it doesn't matter, because Code of Princess is way... I think I actually got these two games like around the same time, and uh, Code of Princess took my priority, because I enjoyed it so much more. Uh, please don't end, please don't Okay, cool. So, we don't have to rush too much. We don't have to worry about it. Just keep one of them alive. Like, they come after us, though, so... Actually... We could keep him in a cage of sorts, so I kind of wasted time with Noe and Tharja. But I could keep him in a cage of sorts and, like, just make it so there's always a guy right there unless he, like, comes out and tries to meet up with us. But for now, we could... Uh, I gotta get rid of this dude, though, because he's an archer. Go ahead and do that. Okay, making a bit of good progress. Just need to go over here. Let's have Robin take out this dude. It's alright. It's, all right. it's okay. You could look the other way. Because we kicked your butt. I don't know. Oh, what else we got right here? Crom. Uh, it's just Crom? What the heck? Pair him up with Longku. Why not? But who's he with? Oh, yeah, he was with Cordelia originally, but then we lost. Uh, no, we put him over her. Whatever, you know what happened. I don't need to explain it again. He's got the fire emblem as like a shield. Did he? I guess that's his new shield or like a new attribute to his character model. I don't think I noticed that before. Or maybe that's just part of the new Great Lord outfit. I don't know. Let me check Crumb's inventory, see what he has with him. That guy just run. Oh, wait, he runs out. That means we can't get the. Ugh. How do you even get there that quickly? My god. Well, it's in this treasure chest. Killing Edge! Hey, it's good for Lanku. Uh, what's over here? I studied on some practical combat strategies. No, no, wait, what? No, we'll die on my watch. Okay, got experience for Robin. It's cool, I guess. Uh, and then we just got this dude. If he just runs out, then, like, we're done, right? Uh, just run over here. I don't think that dude could get out, but just in case, I'll keep guys in front. Let's end this. Okay, player phase. Open up this door. End. Player phase. And the chest. We got ourselves... Amend. Great. Uh, I kind of wanted that arm scroll. Not going to be resetting over and over to get it, though. That seemed kind of difficult, so... I guess we'll just head over here and try and wrap this up. Okay, steps out of his little chamber. Avoid that, no problem. And just finish off this enemy. Somehow Robin and Lissa were MVPs. Thanks for your help. The name's Anna. Some folks like to call me the secret seller. Mm. Yes, I remember you. What? Hmm, I'm afraid I'm drawing a blank. What? Oh, then I must be... I'm sorry, I thought you... Wait, what am I saying? I know we helped you, I'm sure of it. Ooh. <laughs> you must have met one of my sisters. Hmm? Sisters? Gods, you look so identical. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's a strong family resemblance. Oh, and we're all traveling merchants. What? With the same name? Yes. Well, that's part of the secret. Your family gatherings must be chaotic. Oh. True, but aren't everyone's? Still, I can't just send the I can't just send you on your way after helping two of us. 
So let me come along and aid you, aid you in return. I could be quite useful. You'll never make a loss with me in tow. I guarantee it. So we got... Remember to take... Wow, she joined us just to tell us to take a break. Okay, Anna. Whatever you say. We finally got a new ally with us in Anna. And we are done with this paralogue. We also got like a lot of singing upgrades. So things are definitely looking up. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we'll continue on with the main story. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.